And we're broadcasting this address by the Prime Minister Boris Johnson on the latest measures in the pandemic. Hi, bungling blowjo here. Right, what's the update you ask? Fines. <laughs> Five bloody grand's worth of it if you go on holiday. I'm seriously raking it in. Burn your suitcases, you're never going to need them. So you can go abroad without consequences if you live in another country, for work, a bereavement, and if you're a celebrity or politician. Not that that needs stating, of course, per se. So get looking for those loopholes. Exploit them, baby. You should get married. That's an acceptable reason to jet set under my new make it up as we go along guidelines. Sod it. Get married, quick divorce, and get married again. <laughs> I'm telling my friends about that one. I might roll out a 50 grand fine for blinking or scratching. Screw it, of course I will. I could do what I want. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play God with your lives. I'll pass the bill just before the fourth wave from the Outer Mongolia variant crashes into our shores at bullet speed on the 17th of May at precisely 11.17 a.m. <laughs> Checkmate bozos. I wanna get the pubs reopened for you. Seriously, I, I do, and I probably will do soon for a very short spell. Just so you think things are returning back to normal then, wallop, 12 more annual lockdowns. But there's no hurry, I mean, I'm still getting destroyed in my privileged Welsh assembly bar every day. I'll promise you the earth and deliver nothing. Because being of ultra virus, which in legalese terms means above the law, I get absolutely span dangled every night. No mask, no social distancing, no vaccine, no worries. Last night, me and lying, smug, slippery Matt Tinycock were up until 5am, open mouth snogging total strangers and repeatedly licking the microphone during our King of the Country karaoke competition. It, it was blooming marvellous, it was. I sang Deeply Drippy by Right Said Boris and Rishi Washi blurted out, money, 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 your money. <laughs> Tiny cock passed out, of course, the old lightweight chugging an industrial sized drum of snake bite off a prostitute's rear. Then he woke up and ran stark bowlock naked with a frozen chicken on his head down the milk aisle at Waitrose. <laughs> what a lad. The police cheered him on. <laughs> we bloody loved it. We're off to Thailand next week for a boys one. <laughs> it's going to be bonkers savage, drinking in public like a right old terror. As we digress, remember, mortals, obey, comply, never question or fact check anything we say or do, pay your fines, continue to blindly sleepwalk into what we order you to believe, and barricade yourself in your fridge until you die, or you will die. Shaft you later. <laughs>